my best friend. Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you're here, my name is Tara. I know you guys really love Instant Pot recipes. In particular, pot and pot recipes that are healthy, easy to make, throw everything in, and in a matter of minutes, you have a complete meal. John, one of my subscribers, hi John, asked if I would make a chicken and brown rice. Typically, I use white rice because it cooks a lot faster and everything can cook together inside of the pot. So I took this as a challenge and guys, you're gonna absolutely love it. Before we get started, if you have not already, I would love for you to be a part of this community. You do that by hitting the red subscribe button that's right below this video. Next week, we are making a lemon cheesecake. You do not wanna miss this recipe. Be sure to click the bell icon, that way you're notified each time I post a new video. I'm gonna be showing you guys lots of tips and tricks for how to have success with this method of pot and pot using brown rice. You don't wanna miss any of these tips. Be sure to stay all the way through the end of the video. And if you guys are ready to make some incredibly delicious honey orange chicken with brown rice and peppers, then keep on watching. Here are all of the ingredients we'll be using today. A complete list will be in the description box below. So we're gonna start by zesting our orange. I'm being careful to not get any of the white rind in it because that can be bitter. Now I'm gonna just cut it in half so it is ready to go when we need it. Now we're gonna remove the core from the inside of the bell pepper. And then I'm gonna just chop this kind of thickly. I don't want this to be too small. I'm using a red and a green bell pepper. You can also use orange or yellow or even substitute any other vegetable that you would prefer. Now I'm grabbing my pans. I'm using stainless steel stackable containers here. Typically, I use glass. For this recipe, it is very important that we use stainless steel because it actually takes longer to cook things when you're using stainless steel. You can use any kind of stainless steel that you have. If something is covered, it actually takes longer to cook. Now we're gonna add our peppers to one of the pans and I'm gonna just season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Feel free to add any other additional spices that you'd like. I'm covering it, and now we're gonna grab our chicken. This recipe is so incredibly easy, requiring minimal prep time. Then we're gonna put a splash of avocado oil on top, along with our dried spices, a little bit of salt, and some pepper. And then we're gonna add the orange zest, as well as the juice of half of the orange. This is gonna create such a great flavor. We're gonna just kind of rub this into the chicken, all sides of it. You could do this ahead of time and let it marinate, but I just did it like this and it was perfect. Then we're gonna cover it with the vented lid and grab our rinsed rice. For this recipe, we are making the rice on the bottom. So I've actually flipped it and we are putting the chicken and the peppers on the top. We're gonna to add our rice to the Instant Pot along with the water and the remaining orange zest, as well as the juice of the other half of the orange. If you've never had orange flavored rice, you guys are in for a treat. Season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Give everything a good stir. Then we're gonna grab our trivet. This trivet is a tall trivet, which is kind of important because the rice is gonna expand. Put the peppers on the bottom, followed by the chicken, Oops, almost forgot to add a couple of orange slices to the top. I highly recommend it. Place the lid on. If you don't have a lid, cover it with some aluminum foil and just poke a few holes in it. That would definitely work well also. Then we're gonna make sure the silicone ring is on, close our lid, set our Instant Pot to high pressure for 21 minutes. We're gonna allow 20 minutes of natural pressure and make our sauce while we're waiting. If you're following a sugar-free diet, Check the description box. I'm gonna leave alternatives for the brown sugar and the honey that I'm using in this recipe. I love using honey in recipes like this. It provides such a natural sweetness. We're gonna add some soy sauce, some coconut sugar. You could also use brown sugar and some orange juice, and we're gonna mix this really well. After 20 minutes of natural pressure, we're gonna perform a quick release. And as soon as the pen drops, safe to open it. We're gonna carefully remove both stainless steel pans. Of course, they are very hot. It was easier for me to take the lid off to get the one in the bottom out. 
Then we're gonna remove our trivet and fluff this rice. It is cooked absolutely perfect. Next, we're gonna check the temperature of our chicken. It is really important for you to check the temperature of your chicken using a meat thermometer. Your chicken needs to be at least 165 degrees for it to safely be consumed. Mine was perfect, so just be sure to check it. Since there are different size pots, different thicknesses of the pans that we're using inside of it, sometimes the timing has to be adjusted. If you have any trouble or any questions about any of the techniques you see in this video, drop them in the comments below. Now we're gonna remove the chicken from the pan and place it in a larger bowl so that we can either shred it or chop it. This chicken is so tender, it really wants to just shred. By all means, shred the chicken if that's how you like it. I wanted to cut it into cubes for the sake of the photo, but you guys do it any which way you like. So I actually decided to chop this up with scissors. Don't judge me, guys. Once it's all chopped up, we're gonna add the sauce over the chicken stir everything together and then we're going to add our peppers and stir them in as well. Then I'm grabbing a lid and I'm going to cover this. I don't particularly like super thick sauces so this is the perfect texture for me. If you want your sauce to be thicker I recommend heating it up on the stove adding a little bit of a cornstarch or tapioca starch slurry and then you can pour that onto the chicken and the peppers when they're done and it will be absolutely perfect. After five minutes, we are ready to plate this up and taste our chicken and our rice and peppers. You guys are gonna love this recipe. You're gonna wanna check out these delicious Instant Pot recipes. I'm gonna leave them right here for you. Go ahead and click the video on the screen and I will see you over there.